Okay, bonjour. It is Wednesday, July 7th. Um, <clears throat> so, day one, I drove 600 kilometers to Montreal. I overlanded in my car that night after watching the um, after watching Montreal beat the Tampa Bay Lightning. Here's some footage from that. Oh, oh. See, I'm right, right on the river. Uh, then the next day I drove 260 kilometers to here to Quebec City. Stayed with my good friend um, Eric. Uh, that was awesome. So now, um, so we're here at this uh, restaurant that I, I used to go to, well, that I, I come to when I, uh, when I come to Quebec City to, to visit um, Eric. And uh, so I'm gonna have breakfast here. We're going to see um, Le Chute Montmorency, which is like right beside Eric's house. Like it's like a 10 minute walk. And then we're gonna get on the road and drive another like 260 kilometers to Lac Tamiscuata. And we're gonna camp there. Um, I stayed there along my ride to the East Coast in 2016. Absolutely loved it. Hopefully there'll be space for me. Let's, um, yeah, let's eat some breakfast. So this path go, uh, follows right alongside the uh, Riviere Montmorency, which feeds the falls. So yeah, we'll just do this path and back, and then we will get in the car and drive to uh, Tamiscuata, which I just found out my friend Dean, uh, who I met last year on my, on my bike ride to Vancouver, he was bike riding from Vancouver back to a city in Ontario. Uh, anywho, he's in Chimisquata right now. Can you believe it? So who knows? Maybe our paths will cross. We'll see. So the falls are over that way. And we are headed in this direction.
by the way, quite a few good spots um, to stealth camp. If I were riding across the country this summer, uh, yeah. And, and there was even um, a spot over there, someone had built a fire ring, but tons, tons of those spots you could just tuck in. I'm trying not to do too many stops because I'm trying to work off like perhaps a tenth of that all day breakfast, the breakfast I just ate, of which I saved the bread. And so later I'll make my lunch out of that. I'll just buy like some meat or cheese and make sandwiches. Um, but yeah, I love that that uh, restaurant. Um, I think it's called Osume de Chute. But um, yeah, I always go there. And uh, it's just like, it's plain and simple. Nothing fancy. I love that. Um, there was one time in Toronto on Queen Street near the, uh, near Cam H. I walked into, what is it called? I walked into this like little diner and the cook just goes breakfast. And I'm like, yeah, just have a seat. He didn't ask me how I wanted my eggs done. If I want bacon or sausage, if I want cream or milk. And I was like, perfect. I'll just take what he serves me. <laughs> and it was good. Yeah. Us North Americans sometimes uh, way too picky. Yeah, it's not like that in Paris either. You order the uh, plat du jour and that's it. You shut up and you uh, enjoy it. Um, anyway, so Eric and I actually walked this path when I was here in February. That's the thing about Canada. You have to do everything twice. Once in the summer slash fall, maybe, maybe three times. Summer, fall with all the fall colors and then once in the winter. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna turn back shortly and get on the road. Accidentally trespassing on a golf course. Oops. Okay, I am finished my little walk. It was just over five kilometers. Um, <clears throat> so I wasn't planning on making a, it a video just about this, but I think I will cut it here. Otherwise it's going to be too, too long a video. Um, so, so yeah, smart car summer life will continue. Although it's ironic, I've thus far only spent one night sleeping in my smart car. Yeah, day one, went to Montreal, 600 kilometers, overlanded in my smart car beside the St. Lawrence River. Uh, day two, came here to Quebec City, stayed at um, uh, my friend Eric's house. Uh, today, I'm planning on going to Lac Temiscouata to, to camp. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Eric gave me the great idea of exploring La Gaspésie. Um, so when I rode my bike out, out here, I just basically, from Quebec City, I went a tiny, maybe, maybe a hundred kilometers more north, and then I, and then I went east toward New Brunswick. So I haven't explored any of that part of, of Quebec called La Gaspésie. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, <laughs> so yes, so we'll start with that. Uh, Lac Tamiscouata and then La Gas Gaspésie, and then we'll see from there. Oh, look at that hubcap. Now, now my car looks like how it runs. So I, it very much takes away from the cuteness of my car, that missing hubcap. Oh, anywho, thanks for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, like, and subscribe. Keep my retirement dream alive of doing adventures in nature full-time when I retire in 12 years and 10 months. See you in the next video. Ciao.